There is a giant plate of steamed mussels put in front of you at the dinner table. Your lips start tingling with anticipation as you engulf the contents of the plate. As you sit back, satisfied with the delicious meal, your lips start tingling again, but this time your entire face goes numb. This could be due to paralytic shellfish poisoning and you should absolutely go for help. Paralytic shellfish poisoning is caused by a toxin produced by microscopic algae. The mussel eats the toxic algae and then when we eat the mussel, we are exposed to the toxin. Massive blooms of this toxic algae are becoming common throughout the world due to an increase in the algae's nutrient food source. More nutrients are being dumped into nearby waterways through wastewater treatment, fertilizer, and animal waste, directly affecting the toxin production and growth of this algae. In other words, the same thing that makes our grass green makes the algae bloom. The goal of my research is to test the theory algae are what they eat by using stable isotopes to identify the nutrient source fueling the toxic algal bloom. So what are stable isotopes? There are elements like nitrogen or carbon that can have a missing or additional neutron. Nitrogen can be heavy with 15 neutrons or light with 14 neutrons, but both are nitrogen. The heavy to light forms of the element differ in different sources and therefore can be used to identify the nutrient origin. For instance, Americans eat an excessive amount of corn-based products. Corn has a high number of carbon-13 to carbon-12 atoms compared to other plant sources. This means that I will have more carbon-13 than somebody from another country. I'm using the same concept to identify the nutrient sources fueling the toxic algal bloom. Like our previous example with corn, the nitrogen sources have different amounts of nitrogen-15, like the uh, heavy amount in wastewater treatment versus the low number in fertilizer. From this research, the number of nitrogen-15 in the algae can be used to identify where to reduce nutrient discharge to hopefully stop the algal bloom from occurring and reduce the number of cases of paralytic shellfish poisoning. My research will show that algae are indeed what they eat. Thank you.